Hi, my name's Stuart White from a company, San and Duff. Um, we are a decontamination company. And what that means is we use specialist machines to vaporise chemicals and we kill infections. Anything that's a virus, bacteria or fungi, mould and yeast. These are all microorganisms that grow in the environment and they can cause an issue with your health or it can cause an issue with the food that you eat or the environment you live in. So our process is designed to kill infections and return something to safety. I saw this business in Malta and I was so curious about it that I phoned them up and then jumped on a plane and went to Malta to see firsthand the work they were doing in hospitals. They were in forensic labs for the police and they were doing a whole range of other things. And I thought, what a fantastic idea. Um, I haven't saw anything like this in the UK. So I entered into negotiations to buy the San and Daft brand for the UK. And we launched that in 2014. And we now have about 40 people up and down the UK who are involved in the San and Daft process. So we take our machines, we go out to premises and we deliver a decontamination or a disinfection treatment. A typical day in the life of a fogger, and that's what we call people um, who work at San and Daft, we're all known as foggers. So just be very careful how you say that word. Um, we typically maybe call to a hospital where they have a particular concern about an infection spreading. So, you know, a patient can come into hospital with an infection. You can't really stop that from happening, but you must stop it moving to the next patient. So that's where people like ourselves would get involved. We would go along and we would deliver a decontamination treatment so that that room or environment is made safe again. Um, we do that in hospitals, we do that in universities, we do it in laboratories and places that make medicines and foods. Um, we do it in vet surgeries where they look after animals. We do it in schools and education facilities. Anywhere where an infection can harm people or harm the environment, then that's typically where you will find a fogger. My general principles are work hard and never give up. You know, you need to start off with a dream. If you don't have a dream, then you've got no idea where you're going. So you need to have a dream of what you want to do. You also, um, you will learn that that dream will change because what you maybe want in the next couple of years won't be your dream for your entire life. I started work as a welder in a shipyard and my dream was to have a job and be good at it. Um, I then realised very quickly I wanted my own business. That's what I prefer doing. That suits me and that's driven me to own different businesses and get to the level of success where I own and operate a business, other people buy into that business, and on a daily basis, I am the boss of what I do. So first thing you need to do is have a dream, and the second thing you need to do is be prepared to work really hard to fulfil that dream. And always remember, you can take a half step back, and you can adjust your dream, and you can aim for something different. Mm -hmm. But the same driving factors will always apply. Have a dream and work hard to achieve it. I'm a great believer in discipline. So most discipline has to come from yourself. So take time, figure out what you want to do in life, um, and then have a plan in place and work bloody hard to put that plan in action. And always remember, you'll get so far and then you'll change onto a different plan. That's no failure. That's simply readjusting where you're going because throughout your life, you will change your direction four, five, six times. It's part of becoming older. It's part of growing up and it's part of just learning from experience. So you can only live in the moment that you're in, but always drive yourself forward and work hard. That's that's what you need in life to be successful. And if you're successful doing what you want to do, you'll lead a happy life, you'll challenge yourself, and you'll feel fulfilled. And for me, that's, that's what a good life's all about.